Uh, massive, you know. Um, missing, <coughs> missing Johnny, uh, Pete, Paul, uh, JP as well. Um, they're all guys you'd like to be able to to have in your squad, but um, you know it's the nature of the game. Guys get banged up, um, and you just gotta play with the hand that you're dealt with. What happened in training yesterday, um, I, no, Nothing that I saw in particular. Just um, you know, it didn't react well, and you know when we heard last night when he went off to get <laughs> checked what the what the news was. I, I, I didn't see anything specific, to be honest. How does that change the game plan? It doesn't. Doesn't change the game plan at all. I think you saw last week um, when Johnny came off after what, 20, 25 minutes. Ian stepped in, and, and you know we all get the the same game plan. We all uh, run through it during the week, and he he stepped in like all the stu subs have done over the last couple of weeks and the last two and a half years. And um, different guys have had to come in at different stages and um, step right in and did a great job. He trained fully yesterday and he had uh, a bit of tightness in there so he, he was sent for a scan and it showed the uh, the strain. Uh, so you know the, the good thing is like like Jamie's said guys are running in and out all week whether it be in that position or other positions um, and in particular um, Mads did really well when he came on off the bench last weekend, so he's had really quality game time leading up to this week. Um, but other guys also stepped in. Um, we finished really strongly, I felt, with the, the guys off the bench. Even those guys who came in early for Pauli, um, you know, Henry came on and, and made an impact, uh, as did uh, Chris Henry for Pete. And then we finished the game strongly, I thought, um, with guys like uh, Jack McGrath, uh, Ricard Strauss and, and Nathan White all contributing really strongly to a to a positive finish. We saw Hall mentioned uh, Ian was as well after the game at that sprint that we performed in that second half. Is he relishing this challenge to start like one of the biggest games ever in our trophy? Yeah, I, I think everyone is to be honest. Uh, I think you'd be be mad not to want to be be part of that, that starting team and, and uh, be able to contribute off the bench as well. Uh, so yeah, Mads is a confident guy, he, you know, he's kicking Extremely well at the moment, uh, as you can see, he's striking the ball really well off the off the tee, and, and um, you know he's he's really um, he's one of these guys that will will really thrive in that environment, like like we saw last weekend, and um, you know it, it's uh, it's real quality of the squad, I think, to, to see that um, there's, there's massive confidence in what uh, other guys can do who've um, come in last weekend, but also into this week. Jamie, how are you how are you coping with just losing? So, so close to the game, another core member of your leadership group. It's not ideal, um, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, it's it's you know Johnny's Johnny's still there, Paul's still up there. Uh, Pete's actually he's uh, gate crashing for the weekend, um, so it's great to actually see the guys up there and, and adding their presence around. But um, you know, we we focus more on our. You know, strength collective. We never really like. We never talk about uh, individuals as such. We always talk about the strength of what an individual can bring to the group, and 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 that that makes the group better. And that you can just take someone out and put someone back in. Granted, you know, Johnny is a probably one of the best out has out there. But you know, Ian from playing with him from the last couple of years um, is no slouch either, and and he's a, he's a bloody good player. Um, and everyone who's who's stepping in, uh, who's taking their opportunity, you know, deserve it. And um, you know, we just we got to stay quite task focused and, and stay focused on what the collective can do. So it's um, it's part and parcel of the game, and we, we we try and plan for that. To be honest, by like giving guys guys are constantly like Simon talking about guys are constantly rotating through the week and um, going through the plays. We demand quite a lot of everyone, not even the. The 23 guys involved in match day, we demand a lot of everyone who's not involved to go through the plays themselves, and so that they can just step in and out. And uh, it's been a really good week in that side of things. Is it more beneficial that he's been ruled out now, day before the game, than let's say earlier in the week? Because Ireland could possibly prepare for Johnny rather than. Uh, possibly, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't speak for how they prepare for a team, but uh, yeah, it, it may. Uh, it may be like the case, but they, they would have had to have 
um, prepared for, for for Mads and Johnny because Mads played majority of last week's game, so they would have been watching him um, play most of uh, last week's game or three quarters of it. So I'm guessing uh, they'll be they'll be well prepared for either option, whoever was uh, going to take the pitch.